Morning year 10, uh, it's pretty early here, as you can see there's no one around, it is half past, well it's just gone half past seven in the morning, uh, I'm a bit bored, so I'm here playing with my ball, uh, uh, Molly Mods, and I've set up the Molly Mods to uh, play a bit of a game with you, right, you ready? I want you to play a game and spot the difference, and I put the Molly Mods into three groups, so here we've got group one, and you can see there's one, two, three Molly Mods. And let's have a close look there, because in a moment we're going to move on to group two. You ready? Ha! Group two. Now, what's the difference between the way these molly mods are set up and these ones? You see it? Group one and group two. Now, I'm pleased to say that's not all, because in fact, there is a third group. Are you ready for the third group? We've got group one. We've got group two, and, brace yourselves, the third group. Look at that. Now, can we see the difference between these molly mods and these ones? See? Now, what we could do is we could use some fairly... Uh, we, well, we could use some re really good standard English, right, to describe the differences. So we can say, well, look, over here, we've got three separate molly mods, and they're on their own. They are not joined to anything. If we move to group two, you can see that we've set it up so that we've got molly mods that are stuck together. But each time that molly mods have been stuck together, it's the same ones. We've got two red ones, we've got two white ones, we've got two green ones. And then in the third group, again the molly mods are stuck together, but this time you've got different ones. Over here we've got a red and two whites stuck together. Over here we've got a black and two reds stuck together. So these are the differences in just describing our molly mods. Now, what we could do from there is we could start putting on some really good scientific language, okay? So take group one, where we've just got some molly mods that are on their own. These will be described as atoms. So here we've got three atoms. And actually, we could name them. The red ones are oxygen, the black ones are carbon, and the white ones a hydrogen. So we've got three atoms there. Now if we go to group two, you can see that I have stuck the atoms together. Now the proper scientific word really is bonded. So we've got atoms, but those atoms have been bonded together. And the little sticks that are joining them we call bonds. And when you've got a situation where atoms have been bonded together like this, we say that they are, we describe them as molecules. So down here, we've got a molecule of oxygen. And we'd write it out like that. Can you see there's two oxygen atoms in that molecule? So we say it is O2. Here, we've got a molecule of hydrogen. And again, there are two hydrogen atoms joined together, so we describe it as H2. Now, in our third group, you can see again, these are molecules, because they are atoms that are bonded together. But the difference is, these molecules, instead of being made up of the same atoms joined together, like two oxygens or two hydrogens, we've got different atoms joined together. So, we would describe these as molecules, because they are atoms joined together, but we would also describe them as compounds because they are different atoms. So over here, I've got a carbon and two oxygens. So that is a molecule of carbon dioxide. See, one carbon, two oxygens, O2 again. And this baby, oh yeah, we've got H2O. Two hydrogens and one oxygen, a molecule of water. So, 
but they're on their own like that. We just des describe them as atoms. Over here, we've got atoms joined together, which we describe as molecules. And in fact, I forgot something earlier. If they are the same atoms joined together like this, they're molecules and they are elements. And finally, we've got a situation where you've got different types of atoms joined together. They are molecules because the atoms are bonded together and they are compounds because we've got different atoms bonded together.